What's going on friends? Harley Davidson trikes are growing in numbers and for good reason. There's a lot of different reasons why riders opt to go to a trike. Now Harley Davidson trikes, these things have actually improved exponentially over the years since they were first released from Harley Davidson in 2009. So whether you're buying a factory built trike from Harley Davidson or you're taking your existing motorcycle and converting it over to a trike, there's a lot of benefits to this and honestly, there's not a whole lot of downsides to it. Harley-Davidson trikes are growing in popularity and for good reason, just simply mainly before their ease and convenience. And not only that, the best part about a trike is that they keep riders riding longer. Be it that you may be at a point in your life that you don't feel comfortable on a big dresser anymore, or maybe you have an injury that keeps you off two wheels. The beauty of a trike is that it keeps riders in the wind. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Harley-Davidson trikes have come a long way since 2009 when they released the Tri-Glide. Now back in 2009, the Tri-Glide, this thing was brand new. And to be honest with you, the Tri-Glide was very underpowered with the Twin Cam 103. This wasn't even the HO version yet. This came later. This was your standard 103. And that honestly, that is a lot of weight to pull around for a standard 103. This early version of the Twin Cam 103 in the Tri-Glide, this thing only made about 70 horsepower, was only putting down about 80 foot-pounds of torque. That is not a lot of power to haul around a 1,200-pound machine. That doesn't include the weight of yourself, your, right, or your passenger, and your gear. That's just the trike itself. Now, of course, as time went on, things got a heck of a lot better when they went to the Twin Cam 103 HO, and then things got even better with the introduction of the Milwaukee 8 when they started putting those into the trikes as well. Now, the one thing every Harley-Davidson trike can benefit from is more power, and there's no secret to this. The formula is exactly the same as it would be on any other Harley-Davidson motorcycle, but on a trike, it is exponentially important to really focus on the torque and really not so much the horsepower. This is imperative when it comes to a trike, just given the amount of sheer weight that you're hauling around with those things. Torque is gonna to be king on a trike, no matter what. Big horsepower is great, but on that trike, torque is key. And when you get that trike loaded down with your passenger and all your gear, maybe even a trailer, you're gonna really appreciate that massive amount of torque. And you wanna make that torque down as low as possible. Now, not saying a little extra horsepower on top's a bad thing on a trike, but definitely focus needs to be on that torque. Now the first place to start on any trike is we definitely want to start with our exhaust, get a good air cleaner on it, and get a good tune in it. Put some fuel in it, cool it down, and really get some air in and out of that engine. That's going to be the basis for everything, just like any other Harley Davidson. Now specifically, a great place to start is putting a cam in your trike. Now as I mentioned, the formula is the same. You want to go for a cam that's really targeted at a heavy motorcycle, just like you would if you're riding a Harley-Davidson touring bike. But on the trike, you want to get the one that puts the absolute most power down low. You can put a broad range cam in that, you'll get a little bit of torque, you'll get a little bit of mid-range, you'll get a lot of top end, but what you're really going to want is you want something that revs out on the bottom end with a lot of torque, decent mid-range, and honestly, on a trike, I don't really feel like you're going to want to focus on that top end power as much. Now, when it comes to cams, especially from wood, you really don't give up a whole lot except for the valve train noise. Now, one cam that is excellent, excellent for a trike is the Wood TW7H. This thing is a monster cam when it comes to torque. And not to mention the TW7H, this cam works flawlessly with your stock valve train, your stock valve springs, and even your factory lifters, so no worries there, it's just a direct bolt-in cam. Now in a Twin Cam 103, a TW7H, you're going to be netting about 115 foot-pounds of torque and just under 100 horsepower. Now, not to mention, you're already at about 90 foot-pounds of torque at 2300 RPM. That's the kind of torque you want with a trike. You're still getting very respectable horsepower out of that Twin Cam 103, right at about 100 horsepower, give or take, and a lot of that's going to be affected by your air cleaner, your exhaust, and also your tune. Being right at 100 horsepower, give or take, that's going to give you enough horsepower on the top end when you're running down the highway to actually have some good roll-on power even when you're on a big heavy trike with a passenger gear. The Milwaukee 8 engines have done absolute wonders for the trike family. Right off the showroom floor, you're already getting a decent amount of power with horsepower and torque. 
even with the 107. Now, the first generation of the Milwaukee 8 trikes, they had the Milwaukee 8 107. A little later came the 114, and then the CVO trikes came out. They actually had the, 10, the 117. Now, make no mistake, the 107 Milwaukee 8, even bone stock in a trike, that is leaps and bounds over the Twin Cam 103 and the 103 HO as far as horsepower and torque. Now, if you have a cammed out 103 or 103 HO, they're basically going to be the exact same engine because the only difference in those two was the cam. Now, on the trike models, you definitely want the biggest engine you could possibly afford to put in it. The 107 is great, but honestly, they really needed that added horsepower and torque of the 114 from the get-go. The trikes got exponentially better with that 114. Now, when it comes to the Milwaukee 8, an excellent, excellent cam, and I love these cams because they are the absolute pinnacle of horsepower and torque from any bolt-on cam that you could get out there, and that is a Woods WM8 or WM822XE. A WM822X is still an excellent cam. With a WM822X, you're actually looking on a 107 Milwaukee 8, you're looking at about 120 foot-pounds of torque and just over 100 horsepower. Add a little displacement with, a one, with the 114, and you're looking at roughly 125 to 130 foot-pound range and about 115 horsepower. Now we're getting somewhere when it comes to the horsepower and torque and trike. The Milwaukee 8, yes, with the four-valve head, it's naturally going to produce more horsepower and torque than the old Twin Cam 103 in some of the older trikes. But either way, make no mistake, even a 103 with a wood cam in it, that's still producing exponentially better horsepower and torque than it did at stock. Is it going to be a Milwaukee 8? Not quite. But the Milwaukee 8 engine is definitely where it's at in these trikes with just the sheer amount of horsepower and torque that you could put down with just a wood cam swap. Trikes are really beginning to become more mainstream. You're seeing more and more of these out on the road. And honestly, still, even today, from the factory with a 114, my personal opinion, they're still a little bit underpowered. But you can change all that with just a cam swap. Even if you want to take it a little further and go with a big bore kit, you can take your 107, make it a 114, your 114 and 117. Now you start getting into the, the 119 and like the 122 kit, ah, that's probably pushing it a little bit on a trike. Because the drivetrain in those, they're kind of a little sketchy about but really adding a lot of horsepower to them and really riding them hard. Trikes really have their place in the world. There is nothing better than jumping on a Harley-Davidson touring motorcycle and running down the road two up. These are very comfortable machines. The only issue with these machines are, is for some people, they can really be a burden. Anyone can ride a motorcycle. Anyone can ride a touring bike. But honestly, in my opinion, where a lot of these things really become to be a burden, especially with a touring bike, is the parking lot maneuvers, the garage maneuvers, having to back this thing up, come up to a stoplight when you're loaded down with a passenger and a lot of gear. This can be a lot of trouble for some people, including myself. I'm 5'7", about a buck 50. Sure, I can ride a touring bike. I can ride one all day long. But I load it down, I put a passenger on it, I can still get around pretty well. Just don't ask me to do any parking lot maneuvers or back that thing up into a parking spot. Trikes already come with the six-speed transmission, and they also have a reverse gear in them. So other than the fact of maneuvering them around to get them pointed in the direction you want to go, they're really simple to get backed in, pull out. You don't have to worry about getting stuck somewhere if you pull in forward, and then for whatever reason, you're maybe on a little incline, you can't back that motorcycle back out of that parking spot. And that's an issue with a lot of touring bikes, but you won't have that issue with the trike. The trike gives you all the comfort of the touring motorcycle, but without the hassle and burden of having it maneuvered around in your garage or in a parking lot. Now, don't get me wrong, the trikes are not cheap. They're very expensive to get into. And if you do have an existing motorcycle and you want to convert that into a trike, whatever you do, do not cheap out on the kit. And if you're not comfortable getting it converted yourself, take it to a professional. There is quite a bit involved with converting a motorcycle into a trike. It's not hard, but to do it right, you definitely want somebody that knows what they're doing. And don't go with the cheap kit. You will regret it. But guys, I want your opinions on the trikes. What do you think? Would you ever ride a trike? Do you have one? What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments, because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are considering getting on a trike, but they really want to get some other opinions and kind of feel this out a little bit before they put down their hard-earned cash. And as I mentioned, they are not cheap. But anyhow, guys, that's all I've got for you this week. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. But until next week, guys, you stay safe on the streets, ride smart, dodge those cars, and I'll catch you guys back here next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.